Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist and I'm here with Kelly Blackman and her daughter Bailey. And um, Kelly has uh, cerebral palsy. She has full body involvement, but she can walk and um, walk up at stairs holding a rail. She could run if she absolutely had to. She's somewhere between a level one and a level two. And um, in the last video, we talked kind of about birth history and early therapies. Um, can you just talk to me about how you feel like having cerebral palsy affects affected your life? Okay. Um, like I said before, you know, they say CP isn't progressive, which is not medically progressive for me, but I think someone else said this, aging is. <laughs> right. So I can definitely tell a difference. You know, I know, like, for example, now when I fall, I'm not quite as able to get up as fast as I could when I was 10 years old. How often do you fall? Um, not, not that often. Like, if, like I said, if I'm familiar with the environment, I'm usually fine. But maybe at least once a month, I would say. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, because you've got full body involvement, do you have a harder time catching yourself with your hands when you fall? Um, I tend to, for some reason, always get the front of my hands. I don't know why. Like, when I fall, my hands tend you to... You fall like this? this. Yes. Yep. Yep. So it depends. Sometimes so you have trouble getting your hands out right. it, it, yeah, as, you, as you, as uh, you, probably you go into flexion. Yep. myself. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, and uh, so you said that you use a, um, a power wheelchair mm -hmm. when you're at school, but you don't use a power wheelchair at home? I don't use one at home. Now, if we're going, you know, on a trip and we know there's going to be a lot of walking, I will use one. And when I was younger, I used to, oh, I don't want to do that. You know, I'm, I can do just like everybody else. But as I've gotten older, when I use the wheelchair, it makes it easier on myself. It makes it easier on everybody else that's with me. Um, so at the end of the day, it's just when I know there's a big trip coming up and a lot of walking involved, we'll just get a chair and, and go. So. And uh, you have a have a daughter too. So mm -hmm. how, I mean, <laughs> Bailey looks like she's fast. I'm not saying anything, but she looks like she could get around as quick as she can. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I would imagine that would make it tricky having a child and having cerebral palsy it because is. I mean, um, listen, maybe people don't know cerebral palsy is not inherited. So right, and that's another thing. You know, when I was pregnant with Bailey, you know, people who didn't know who weren't educated would ask me, "Well, well why are you like, having a kid?" Well, not that necessarily, but is she going to be like you? Uh -huh. You know, and some people would like, why would they say? But if they're not educated, they don't know. Right. You know, right. so you have to explain. No. They're, did it make it dif more difficult for you to carry a child? It did, I guess. I, her birthday's in August. So, um, Ooh, through the summer. Yes, it was hot. <laughs> it was very hot. <laughs> Last two months were hot, but I didn't have to work, you know, working uh -huh. with the schools. Right. So that made it, made it a lot easier. Um, I think I only fell once with you. Yeah, I fell one time. <laughs> wow. So, um, yeah, I was real careful. And um, did they monitor you more closely because you have cerebral palsy? Um, no, not really. We just knew I was going to have a scheduled C-section. So uh -huh. we went ahead and scheduled that. Um, and I saw every doctor in the practice. And the doctor that delivered her was the one doctor that I did not see. <laughs> right. But, um, ah. but yeah, we, it was fun. Yeah, it was good. Um, so tell me how you think cerebral palsy affected your original family, your your mom, and you've got one brother, I right? I do, yeah, my mom, my dad, and my brother. Um, I think it just, it opened our eyes. Like, we're more compassionate to people who are not, you know, quote-unquote normal, like I said earlier. Um, it gives you a bigger heart. You want to help people, you know. Right. Um, did you, did you, I mean, you had to go twice a week to therapy. Did your brother resent that or was he embarrassed about you or? I'm sure when he was younger, you know, who wants to go to Charlotte for an hour, you know, after school. But, you know, he grew up and we were fine. You know, he did ball. He yep. did ball. So you had to go to the baseball. I was, yeah, I was doing baseball practices and therapy. So, yeah, we made it work. Um, and he's younger or older? I can't he remember. He is. He's four years younger than I four am. Four years yeah. younger. Yeah. And, uh, and so do you remember then? If he was four years younger, there came a point where you were, you know, you were walking, he wasn't. 
And mm-hmm. then there came a point when he was walking and he was moving better than you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, much better. But, I mean, he didn't feel sorry for me. I'll tell you that. So, <laughs> I mean, it was just a normal brother-sister relationship. And you, you, know, we, you, did that make you feel jealous when you watched him? Uh, Do you remember? Maybe a little bit. I mean, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that it didn't. But, you know, I was comfortable with who I was. And, you know, I knew, I knew that I was different somewhat and... We just, you know, I just, my parents always encouraged me to be like everyone else, you know, right. and they didn't, didn't look at my disability as a bad thing. It was actually a good thing. Um, so. And, um, a lot of, I mean, I think marriage is hard. Marriage is hard, but the stats on marriage and, of, of people who have a child with cerebral mm-hmm. palsy is pretty dismal. Do you feel like you having cerebral palsy affected your parents' relationship? I don't. You know, they may have had some stresses with surgeries and, and therapies. Right. Um, but they are still together now, and they've been married almost 50 years. So, um, I, I often think of it as a magnifier of it. it. You know, if it's not a good relationship, right. it magnifies the bad part. Right. And if it's a good relationship, yeah. it magnifies the good part. Yeah. Um, and... Now, um, let's talk about dating and having cerebral okay. palsy. What what was it like, high school dating and having cerebral palsy? Dating in high school didn't really didn't happen for me very much. Okay, I mean I had guy friends, you know, but right. not. You no, know, I I probably didn't really start dating until college. And yeah. did you feel like that was because you had cerebral palsy? Um, yeah, I, probably so. I did. You know, the high school mind did. Right. Being more confident now, if I had the confidence then that I have now, I feel like I would have been a little bit more outgoing when it came to that aspect of it. But I think if you're such a, so I, outgo- know. <laughs> I think if you're so outgoing, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, um, now and then I was too, but not not so much outgoing when it came to to dating. So, right. Yeah. And you're married now. No, I'm engaged. You're engaged. Yes, we're engaged. Yes, we are. <laughs> Congratulations. <Thank you. laughs> um, and uh, I, I think for the, the statistics on people who have cerebral palsy, it's it's marriage is a trickier thing, uh-huh. you, and you've been really successful. Yeah. Um, um, I just I just think that's um, that you've been able to find people that surrounded you. Yeah, that, friends that, and family. Yeah. And when, when were the toughest times for you? I would probably say high school. High, high school. school was probably my toughest time. And, and why do you think? Did you think? Uh, did you go to a school that had a bunch of people who didn't know you, or? Well, no. I mean, I went through school with the same kids. I was fortunate to never have to, you know, move or anything like that. And I mean, I had my group of friends, but right. you know, you see, you see marching band, you see flag girl and all this and it's just stuff that you know I wanted to do but couldn't do right um you know but (laughs) yeah and so the the people weren't um more unkind to you in high school or no not really unkind I wouldn't say unkind I was never really bullied I don't remember I mean I'm sure it was you know when I was smaller maybe but looking back I can't see like any big significant situation that happened where I was bullied. I guess it just hurt me more that I couldn't like participate in sports or things like that, you know. Right. Right. And tell me, um, you you went to college afterwards. I did. Yeah. And that's when you started using a power wheelchair. Do you think having cerebral palsy affected your time in college? No, I don't. I did not use my power w- I went to Wentworth first. I got my bachelor's degree from Wentworth. Um, I was not in the wheelchair at Wentworth. Um, when I went to Western Carolina, where I got my master's degree, that's when I was um, in the wheelchair. Uh-huh. Um, and you were able to keep up with the written work with, with your hand involvement? You were just typing? or um, I would. Yeah, I did okay with that. I had some friends that would take notes for me if I needed it. Or when it came to testing, if it was like essay test or whatever, I would go to the disability center okay. um, and get you know a little bit extra time, not much, but some. Well, uh, I am loving talking to you. Um, we need to finish this segment. All right. um, thank you so much, thank and you. how about we'll look forward to talking to you next time? Thanks a lot. Bye bye. 
If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.